movie is like every army wife's wet dream because I know they're sobbing at this. I know the girlies are screaming and crying and throwing up at this. while since I've reacted to a bad movie on this channel, so I figured why not bring it back again? Especially when I've seen a few questionable clips on TikTok for this new movie from Netflix called Purple Hearts. From what I've gathered, it is an enemies to lovers romance movie about a liberal woman and a conservative man. But of course they fall in love. Sometimes the dick is so good, you have to abandon all your political beliefs. The main guy is actually someone I've reacted to before. He was in the Cinderella movie with Camila Cabello. I detected fruity vibes from him and now he's been cast as the prince in Red, White, Royal, Blue, which is the Amazon Prime adaptation of the very popular book. The fact that he will soon play a gay prince after he just played this conservative, probably Trump supporter in this movie, truly shows that he's going for the range. Some of the clips that I saw involved the main guy calling the main girl's mom an illegal because they're immigrants, which is always a very romantic line to say. So while I watch this movie, I also want to give a shout out to the food that I'm going to be consuming to get through the entire movie. It's from Lucy's Vietnamese. This is a Vietnamese restaurant where the name comes from the owner's grandma who was an immigrant from Vietnam, didn't speak any English at all, and I got a banh mi sandwich that I will be enjoying. I figured if I'm going to profit off of watching this movie, I might as well give some of the profits to an immigrant owned business. That way I don't feel like I'm totally losing my soul as I watch this romance unfold before my eyes. And speaking of Netflix movies, today's sponsor is NordVPN, which I've been using for the past two years. A lot of times there are specific TV shows or movies that are only available in certain countries. So when I use NordVPN, I can change my IP address to make it look like I'm in a different country and then I can unlock new entertainment that I wouldn't have otherwise. And in general, it's a great way to protect your data to make sure that advertisers are not tracking you and selling your info. They're a super fast service. I've never had any problems with their speed at all. They're very accessible because there's over 5,500 servers in 59 countries. They added an advanced anti-malware feature too called threat protection. So now whenever you download something, they'll scan through the URLs and make sure there's nothing shady going on and it blocks any malicious things trying to get onto your computer. So it's really cool because now it's not just a VPN service, but it's also a cybersecurity tool. So if you're interested, you can get an exclusive NordVPN deal at the link in my description below. It is nordvpn.com slash with Cindy. It is totally risk-free. You can get a 30-day money-back guarantee. All right, so let's go ahead and watch the movie. The things that you experienced today, there the adversity go. that you went through is what right looks like. You, ladies and gentlemen, are what right looks like. Mm, I can already feel the military propaganda coursing through this video. America. Stop. <laughs> hey! Oh my god, look at the buzz. Frankie's gonna be the only cool guy in this movie. Frankie, we grew up together and I was his baby. Okay. You were his babysitter? Was he three and she was four? I'll have a cook. My kind of guy. Hell yeah. Could you throw in some lemon slices with that? How about you pace yourself, bro? I can already feel the sexual attention radiating from this clever wordplay. So we're good enough to fight for your ass, but not good enough to touch it. Because I kill children in other countries, I deserve to sexually harass you. What the hell is someone's Asian dad doing here? You're kind of predictable. I've, I've met your type before. I can feel the slur hanging on the tip of his tongue right now. Did you see the guy who looks like he's 12 years old? He told me that I should reconsider my stance on men because if I marry him, I would get incredible health insurance. Oh, uh, hey, can you cover me for like five? This is like the most straightforward exposition in a movie ever. There's like no nuance, no way to connect the dots at all. They just spell it out for you. You mentioned the health insurance. You instantly see her struggling with her insulin. Gee, I wonder what's gonna happen. 300 for the long acting, 220 for the short acting. So a little over $500. It really is true though. American health insurance is awful. Just a few months ago, I thought I had COVID and I was trying to find a PCR test to be responsible. My insurance didn't cover it and it would have been $200, which is 
absolutely ridiculous. I had to go commute an hour all the way to this specific pharmacy that didn't charge me for a PCR test just so that I wouldn't have to pay $200. And I didn't even have COVID in the end. I was just trying to make sure. And why is it that a basic test just to try to be responsible and not kill other people, something that you charge $200 for? What the hell? This is gonna be book Twitter after a red, white, royal, blue comes out. He will not see the pearly gates. I'll get you something by then. <sighs> okay, that's good, bro. That's good. Okay, so we set up the incentive for both characters to get married. She needs health insurance. He needs 15 million to pay this drug dealer they hired from the CW. Tienes que tomar esto con seriedad. I feel like you're not taking this seriously. I'm running late and I can't sleep because I have this medical debt that just grows like some mold in a basement. So please, please just be kind to me. It really is stressful to deal with medical issues, to deal with finances. It can overtake your whole life. I truly sympathize for what she's going through but hey at least you got amazing jeans look at your mom dude she looks like she's your younger sister what the fuck at this rate y'all are gonna be immortal so <laughs> if you can overcome this diabetes thing you're set to go This is me when the edible hit last night. Fun fact, I was supposed to film this reaction while high, could not go through with it. I was being too messy like this girl. <laughs> In retrospect, if I had watched this movie high, I wouldn't have remembered anything from it, which would have been great for me, but not that interesting of a reaction for you. I love that she sways so prettily though. Like, oh no, I'm about to die, but I'm sexy while doing it. Oh, she's gonna try to marry Frankie. That would be a better marriage, actually, because then at least you get along. He probably is going to say no, though. I wonder why. I would marry my friend to give her health insurance. I actually offered to marry one of my friends so that she could get a green card because she's not actually here legally, but she said no. So that's how you really know that you're unwanted. When someone's willing to risk deportation instead of marrying you. Frankie, this is a common scam. And if they find out it's not real, it's fraud. Why wouldn't this be a real marriage? I don't know, because you're not in love. How would they even know what a fraud marriage is though? Like technically isn't any marriage legitimate as long as you sign the papers? Because something like love isn't something that you can measure is too like vague and arbitrary. And originally marriages weren't even about love. I feel like most marriages would be fake because many people come into it with other benefits in mind. Your mom was living here illegally then? My mom, who crossed that border, lived here for 10 years, worked their asses off for 10 years, paying taxes for your government. What really gets me is that they're arguing about whether immigrants deserve rights, but the camera positions them to be so close that it's supposed to be sexual tension. Sometimes to spice things up in the bedroom, you gotta argue about human rights. Just to keep things fresh, you know? Uncle Luke? Was that a Hail Hitler? Just kidding. I know he's just waving. Could you imagine though if he was just like straight up Nazi? Like if you're gonna do enemies to lovers with political differences, you might as well go all the way, right? Don't make me use this. I'm gonna pay you. I met this girl who needs health insurance and if we get married, I get extra money. Bro, you were just giving her shit for trying to have a fraud marriage. Now all of a sudden you wanna shack up. It's the hypocrisy for me. Hi. Thanks for meeting with me. Is your dad in the parking lot waiting to cuff me? Classic banter with enemies to lovers romance. The looming threat of police brutality hanging over her head because her love interest is probably pro-police. I made a story. When I didn't get along in the bar the other night, the others saw that. But the next night, I was very charming. I convinced you to go out with me. Was it hot when you asked me out? Very. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm very convinced it was hot. I can tell by how committed you are. Look, if I can trust a lib who doesn't give a shit about the law or the military. If I can trust a snowflake libtard like you, I sure as hell can make this sense attention. So what does the tattoo say? Socialism now? <laughs> no, it's actually the communist flag tattoo. Imagine if she actually had like a giant tramp stamp of the communist symbol. Again, if we're gonna do enemies to lovers with this shit, we might as well go all the way. <laughs> to the newlywed. Uh -huh. Adorable. How are they able to convince everyone that this is a legit marriage? Everyone in this social circle knows that these two only met for the first time last week and they got into an argument so they already didn't get along. How is everyone convinced that they're now in love and they're willing to like suddenly marry? No one is suspicious of this. I know Frankie's nervous so I'm trying really hard to be brave but he's my favorite person. This is the problem. Oh, oh. Girl, you chose the wrong person to trauma dump on. Your problems are not the same. I'd like to make another oh. toast. This one is to life, love, and hunting down some goddamn A-Rabs, baby!
Hmm, funny. Yes, but not funny, haha. -ha. Funny, weird. What exactly would you like us to do, huh? Go over there and teach them pronouns? Bro, you've been using pronouns this entire conversation. Maybe finish your English classes before you join the military? God, I just love nuanced conversations like these. <laughs> Dude, what is your problem? Your comrade is being racist and you're pissed off at her? You know what he meant. What do you, like, <laughs> what do you mean? Like, I, I don't understand the joke. Can you explain? When he said he was going to kill the goddamn Arabs, what do you mean by that? What did he actually mean? <laughs> yeah, but without guys like Armando, do you really think this country would be safe from terrorists? Mm -hmm. No. Um, I don't think that racists are why people feel safe in this country, actually. Like, I think it might be the other way around, historically speaking. Actually, if this racist didn't shout for a racial genocide in the middle of this cheesecake factory, you would all be dead by now. And you preach this future is female. But how do you think those women feel in Iraq? Dude, I can't. <laughs> All the women in Iraq right now are like, why am I in this conversation? They can see us. Come here. Aw, racism is cured now. Dude, she's really into it. Girl, did you just forget everything he said? Please tell me you are not digmatized already. Did you already forget about the women in Iraq? What about them? I asked the two beds. Mm -hmm. This is like every fan fiction trope, but your love interest is a Trump supporter. Between the marriage, Iraq, kind of losing it. Hey, that was really brave. Yeah, that was really brave of you to make me do emotional labor in comforting you now after you condone your racist friend. That's really brave. How are you even thinking about kissing? What about anything that happened prior to this made you wanna, <gasps> what the fuck? <laughs> Where did this come from? Girl, are you? Are you fucking for real? We lost another one to the troops. This really goes to show, no matter how much of an ally you are or how adamant you are with saying you're a liberal or that you believe in X or Y or whatever, it doesn't mean shit if you're digmatized. This is every liberal girl who posts infographics on her Instagram while dating her Trump supporter boyfriend. That dick was so good, it thrust the social justice out of her. Went for one. So you're that guy. Pretend it didn't happen, guy. <laughs> Girl, this is not a real marriage. Why are you even being offended? You don't even like him. I don't know how the women in Iraq will feel about this. We lost her so easily. <laughs> Aw, look, we're humanizing them. Let's forget the fact that there will be blood on those hands soon because they helped you give a kissy kiss. Girl, we are not friends. Don't touch me. Can you imagine if she said that? She's like, who are you again? Not the children extras. What if these were the same kids they used for the Wonder Woman movie? My mom had a string of boyfriends from the base who did nothing but make her miserable. We didn't talk about it. Hmm, trash taste in men. Guess y'all have that in common. Dear Cassie, here's what you should know about me. I'm a third generation Marine. My grandpa fought in the Battle of Iwo Jima. Oh, how convenient. We now have character background stories directly told to us through voiceovers. Why are they introducing themselves over email to each other though? Wouldn't that make it more obvious that you're strangers that got married for benefits? Like you should already establish that you already knew each other and that you're madly in love. This just feels like you're talking to a stranger and so now you're leaving a paper trail behind in case people get suspicious of you. Hey Luke, it's your boy John O. You got last week's deposit. We keep faking that marriage. Dude, this is literal evidence that their marriage is fake. These people are so dumb. You're leaving a paper trail with your stupidity. So, how was your day? Yeah, that's good. Babe. This is gonna be how he acts in all the romance scenes in Red, White, Royal, Blue. So how was the gay sex, babe? I started to write a song. Wait, you just wrote a song? Like, just like that? He's surprised because he's illiterate. Hi. Hey. Are you okay? He just got news that he was cast in Red, White, Royal, Blue. We could all use that serenade. Today was pretty ugly. I've never really played my own songs for anyone yet. This goes out to all you American heroes. What if she just played Party in the USA? Drowning in your arms, I'm terrified, letting my fear show. It's actually really sad how soldiers deal with PTSD and don't get treated for it when they come back home. Like you force people to kill and see death and you put them in terrible conditions and they're separated from friends and family. They watch other soldiers die, other people that they made friends with. And then when they come back home, if they come back home, nobody helps them through their trauma. But I mean, I guess this pop music will cure their PTSD, so it's fine. Damn it, I hope you'll come back home. 
imagine how good the dick must be for you to start writing songs about war. To all the brave men and women who are serving our country on the other side of the world, thank you. Girl, you're singing to a bunch of stoners at the beach. I'm not sure this is the right audience. Come back home. Damn, the sound system in her concert is so good, they can hear it in a rock. What is Pink doing here? <laughs> party in the USA better. I feel like that would have been more inspiring to the troops. I feel like we could have won if Miley Cyrus had sang that song for us. I tried you three times. What's going on? So I posted one of the tracks. It got picked up for the road trip playlist and now it has over 200,000 plays. Oh my God, Luke, I know you may be dead, but did I just write the song of the summer? It's a great day today. God bless you. God bless you. <sighs> We lost her to the troops already. Once she got that conservative dick, it was over for her. You're singing to the troops to come back home. How about you come back home? Blink twice if you need help. His dad supports the NRA? Bitch, bye. Girl, he's gonna kill you if he detects any accent on you. Are we really gonna humanize someone who funds the NRA? Like how many children have died from shootings at this point? You're worried about your son, but you don't give a shit when another school gets shot up? Very selective empathy here. It's not adding up love. Make it make sense. We have to make the believe this is a real marriage. <laughs> Girl, it ain't that hard. <laughs> He's not even here most of the time. You've just been doing singing montages and running around doing concerts. Is Rinky gonna laugh or cry when he finds out about this? Shh. No one told you. <gasps> they killed Frankie? Why did they kill the only black guy? Really? But this motherfucker gets to live? Fuck this movie. I can deal with two idiots getting married, but Frankie was like the only decent person. And by decent, I mean he just didn't say anything racist. I feel very uncomfortable seeing this drawn out scene of a black family mourning for the sake of trying to stir emotion in the audience. Cause you know, they're just gonna move on with the rest of the movie. And he was like literally just there so that you can feel sad about someone dying. But girl, can you at least fake cry better? His girlfriend is acting her ass off right now and you're just crunching your eyebrows. Come on, this was like the boy that you babysat. Remember when he was two and you were three? You're you freaking out. Him. Oh, what, and you're not? I mean, I've never even lived with a guy before because this isn't what we agreed to. I can't believe I'm saying this. I actually really hate that I'm saying this, but I'm on his side on this one because it's not his fault that he got injured and had to be back in the US. Like, yes, it's uncomfortable to live with another dude, but he's injured, he's traumatized, he lost his friend, he's in a wheelchair, and you live on a third story apartment with no elevator. He has the shitty end of the stick here. It's a really shitty situation, but you're not the one who's suffering here, he is. And if this movie were actually realistic, he would probably have PTSD. Compared to him, you're doing just fine. You have a successful music career now. You can house a veteran to get health insurance money until you get divorced. This whole situation is very doable for me. I can scam the whole Navy easy peasy. I hate your picture perfect lips. She's thinking about how she hates his picture perfect lips. What about your dead friend? Where's his song? We're just gonna forget about him now? He got one funeral montage and you've got like five singing montages already. You get a dog? She's for you. Guys like me? What? Like a cripple? I don't need your pity. Have it your way. People don't really say the word cripple anymore. I like how he's just lashing out and she's like, you know, that was very problematic of you to say. I'm gonna tweet about what you just called yourself because that's not okay. Please, not the three flags, pride, black lives matter, and the American flag. One of them is not like the other. By the end of this movie, they should just hang one giant flag of the American flag, but with rainbow stripes. That will really show unity of both sides. The same reason you and I wouldn't work. You don't believe in love. I like how his deal breaker is someone not believing in love, while most people's deal breakers would be being pro-gun, pro-military, racist, sexist, any kind of is really. But someone says they don't believe in love, oh, I can't be with you. How can you be so inhumane? How can you believe in love, but you don't believe in human rights? That's fake news. Because when it comes to control issues, I'm self-taught. Dude, you were having a tantrum over getting a dog and then you threw a leash to the ground. Maybe you should teach yourself some more of that. You snowflakes are just, you're so judgy. It's so romantic whenever a man calls you a snowflake. I love it when my man calls me a snowflake libtard bitch. One, two, three. 
how he teaches her to be less of a feminist and she teaches him how to taste seasoning. This movie is like every army wife's wet dream because I know they're sobbing at this. I know the girlies are screaming and crying and throwing up at this. <laughs> Mess with that woman again, and you throw uh, this book at my wife. I will kill you. Oh my god, bro, chill. It's not that serious. This is everything I owe you. We're done. How do you even get all that money from all the bad Amazon movies he's doing? You know, we judge the actor, but we don't really know what he's been through. We don't know why he's doing all these roles. Hey, Frankie, you want to hear something crazy? No, let him rest in peace. I think Cassie Salazar is my best friend. I think you don't have any friends, so the only other character you talk to is your best friend by default. They broke into my mother's house, Luke! Don't just walk away! Not every man you let into your life is a bad guy that you can't trust! Really, Luke? I mean, you literally didn't tell her that you owe a drug dealer money, and you were an addict, and now you've pulled her mom in a very dangerous situation with other bad men. So, maybe she does have the right to walk away, actually? It's almost like if you keep on emphasizing that not every guy is a bad guy, you're kind of overcompensating for something. <laughs> Oh my god, please. I cannot take another song montage. Whoever told this actress that this movie would be her version of A Star Is Born lied to this bitch. They've said that you two have a fake marriage in order to get benefits. Is this true? No, not all of it. I mean, I thought you were good for him. I thought you were bringing my son back to me. Shut the fuck up, NRA bitch. You're not bringing other family sons back to them from those school shootings, asshole. I'm so done with this guy. Get him out of here. I coerced Miss Salazar into marrying me. She didn't know that it violated military law. I assured her it didn't. I bear full responsibility and I am prepared to face the consequences of my actions. Oh, he gave himself up for her. Damn. She got a win-win in this situation. She got the money, zero punishment. She doesn't even have to see him anymore because he's in prison. Listen, if you were a true bitch who wanted to keep it real, you would just collect your check and go. Upon completion of your sentence, you will be discharged for bad conduct. You will report for your six month sentence tomorrow at 1700 hours. A six Six month sentence isn't that bad actually. Like it's not gonna ruin his life. People have served much longer sentences for way less crimes. Now she's moving on from military wife to prison wife. Oh, the journeys we go for a conservative man. And I think this is a real marriage. Not to the court, it ain't. Cassie, I'm going away for six months. Well, I want to wait for you. This is so dramatic. It's six months. Long distance relationships have been separated for much longer. Just do like three singing montages and then six months will already be over for you. This is the ugliest, laziest flag I've ever seen. She made that shit in like five minutes. Whoever the prop person is for this movie literally forgot to bring this into set and then they had to make it like five minutes before it was time to film. You might as well just hang a blue Lives Matter flag at that point because then at least there would be some effort in the design. My poor sister has been indoctrinated. Ah, <sighs> it's too late for her. She already got the golden retriever and everything. Nothing more potent than a white man's dick. She's gonna write songs about Ronald Reagan now. Girl. Stand up. Look at yourself. Your mother did not immigrate to the US for this shit. To me, this movie was tragic. It started off with a girl trying to scam the government by marrying a Republican, only to be scammed herself for falling in love with a Republican. That did better be good. This was basically liberal conservative fan fiction. I would say I'm actually braver than the US Marines for even watching this movie. The way they were so close to identifying the core root of both of their problems, which is the United States of America, and yet they were also very far off at the same time. Like if you really wanted to find a way to unite these two very different people, the similarity is that they both got screwed over by their country. But somehow the dig was so good that they can just ignore all of that. And that is my America. So go ahead and unsubscribe from my channel and goodbye. Take a swim